Hi everyone, this is Hannah from Strixsoft Solutions Great Tech Group, and I will be hosting this week's tech tip. Today's topic is inspired by a client's feature request and is entitled How to Frame a Window and Door Combo in MWF. I'm using Build 8740. This feature is available for wood only and will soon be available for like gauge steel as well. You'll see on my end that I have pre-created this panel. It consists of a door and a window opening, and this is the feature that we're going to talk about for today. I will start with this empty wall over here, and I just want to highlight that I've left a small gap between the door and the window. And I will be framing this wall as a starting point. I clicked on create. I'm going to select the default wood template, set it as active, close, and then I'll hit create. And I'm gonna click on okay. So using the default template, this is the result that we got, and results may vary. The reason for this result is that MWF is not going to automatically be able to frame this specific situation. I just want to show you that if I nudge this door a little bit and this window a little bit more, just allowing more space, and if I regenerate, The result is going to look like this. You'll see that we don't have any problems. But if I go back to the scenario that we were talking about before, there's a few steps that we have to do. The first thing I'm going to do is access the panel properties. I'm just going to fix a few things, and then we're going to jump into the topic of our tech tip. But just to prepare this a little bit, I'm going to go to miscellaneous tracks and I'm going to unsplit the bottom track and that is the first step because I would like the bottom track to be continuous over here. The other thing I would like to fix is the relationship over here between the header and the king. So I'm just going to go to cutbacks, click on edit, go to the headers and this is what I want to use. Set header to flush inner over here. Same for sills, and that's it, and OK. This is just to prepare for the topic of our tech tip. What we have to do now is go to Marker Manager, under Openings, Single Opening, I'm going to scroll down and find a specific marker that we need to use. The marker that we need to use is wood default non-bearing. I've already created a copy of this. So to create a copy, you would duplicate and rename. I've done that already, so I'm just gonna double click. There's a few things here that we have to modify. One of them is to tick frame multiple openings as single opening. The other one is to tick where it says door with adjacent window, just like this, and hit OK, update the marker, and that's it. The other step is that we have to create a rule set. To create a rule set, we're going to need to go to Project, Wall Opening Mapping, create a copy from the original wall opening, which would be empty. I've already created a copy by duplicating, and I've just created something called test. To add a rule set, you need to click on the plus sign. I've already done that, so I'm just going to show you what I've created. So if I double click over here, the settings you would need to use is door with adjacent window. Then you have to specify if the window position is left, top, or right. On my end, it's right. 
You can add a tolerance gap. I've added half an inch tolerance. And you would need to specify the default non-bearing copy that we have just created and click on OK. Click on the tick and OK. The next step would be to assign this into the panel properties by selecting one member of the panel, going back to the panel properties, miscellaneous, and now we're going to go to opening framing and click on edit. We're going to select use opening mapping rule set. We need to select the rule set that we have just created, hit close, and then OK. And this is the result that we wanted. This concludes this week's tech tip. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next week.